Hello, in this video, you're going to be doing the hinge guide in the Autodesk Inventor Book, Chapter 5. Now, this hinge guide is actually a very simple design. We'll start off by doing a 2D sketch with a circle and a rectangle, and then we'll trim whatever we don't need, and we'll actually cut out another rectangle here, and then trim that extrude two inches these two holes will use the extrude cut command and then here we'll learn how to use the hole command for the first time let's go ahead and get started once you have Autodesk Inventor open click on new English standard inches create Now I'm gonna click on home really quick so I can show you what we wanna do. We are going to make sure that we draw our longest side on the front, front view. So the first sketch, which is the longest side, is going to be on the XY plane. Notice how they're parallel with front view. So when I click start 2D sketch, I will click on XY plane, or I can also click it here. Either way is fine. And of course, make sure that you're on front view. I'm going to start with the outer circle. This one has a radius of one, so the diameter is two. I'm going to click on front so it zooms out. You're still in circle command, but if you're not, just make sure that you're in circle command. The inner circle is a radius of 0.5, which is a diameter of 1. Right click and click OK to get out of the command. And I want to move my dimensions to the outside of my design. I'm going to move my dimensions to make it look neater. I'm clicking on my mouse wheel to drag it over. Okay, so we'll be using a two point center rectangle. And it doesn't really matter where I put it. I'm going to use the dimension command to put it where I want it. What does matter is that my rectangle is four inches long. So I'm gonna type four, tab, and then the thickness is 0.5, tab. Then I'm gonna go to dimension command, click on my center of my circle, click on the outside line of my rectangle and change that to four. And then I'm going to do another rectangle, which is going to be the cutout right here. Center rectangle. Approximately put it in the middle. The length doesn't matter. So I'm just going to tab and put the thickness because that's what matters the most. 0.25 and just make sure that your length is passing both the inner and outer circle. You're going to trim what you don't need. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is trim what we don't need. But before we do that, we need to delete the dimensions. It will not let you trim anything that is dimensioned. So Okay, make sure that you're not in any commands. So right click, click OK. Highlight the dimensions we're not going to use. Right click, delete. Right click, delete. And this one, right click, delete. Next, I'm going to click on the trim command. And I'm going to zoom in on this one first. So first, I'm going to trim 
the outer lines. This circle. Make sure that you select the correct lines. And what you should be left with is just this line here. Now I can show you that if you want to select more than one, you can drag your mouse over multiple lines and it will trim it for you. If it doesn't let you delete any lines, get out of the command, right click and delete it. And then go back to the trim command. Now, it looks like we're done, but there's actually one more command that we need to do. We're going to use the fillet command on these two areas right here. You can actually do it later and it would still work the same, but let's go ahead and take care of it now. Make sure that when you're in the fillet command, you go to point three and you're going to select two lines, this line and then this top part of the circle and then this line, and then this bottom part of the circle. And notice how it made that curve. This curve is actually a 30 degree arc. And there you have it. I'm gonna finish sketch. I'm gonna click on home to zoom out. Everything looks good. Next thing is extrude. Now in the previous videos, we used direction one extrusions. I'm going to show you that you can actually extrude not only the other way, you can actually do a symmetrical extrusion and we'll be doing that today. The extrusion total length is two inches. And what it's doing is it's going to extrude an inch this way and then an inch the other way. You can actually do asymmetric and have two different distances, but today we're only doing symmetric. Click OK. Next, we're going to do the two holes that are right here. 2D sketch, as always, click on the top of this plane. I want to rotate this just for myself. Zoom in a little bit. And it doesn't matter where, I'm just going to draw two circles. And we'll use the dimension command to put everything where we want it. And I made plank, almost. Dimension. First, we'll do the dimension of the circle. I'm going to put my dimension on the outside. And the diameter of the circle is 0.25. Now, I'm going to resize this circle as well, but I'm going to show you a trick. So if you have more than one feature and they have the same dimension, instead of typing in the number here, I can actually click on this other dimension that's exactly the same. And of course, it'll come up with a weird 
dimension actually dimension and then it has a number in this case it's dimension 9 and then this one will be labeled dimension 10 click OK and it automatically copies it now why is this beneficial well let's say that in the future I wanted to change my dimension point 3 it will change for both of those both of those features I'm going to click on do to go back make sure that you switch it back to 0.25 click on dimension command again and let's put these guys where they belong first I want to make sure that these are both one inch from each other one enter next thing is make sure that the center of the circle and this line are 0.5 inches from each other and then we want to make sure that the distance between this circle and this bottom line here is 2.25 and I'll do the same for this one notice how I clicked on this dimension and it automatically set it to that same dimension okay these circles are where I want them I'm gonna finish sketch extrude we're gonna cut and I'm gonna select the inside of that circle I can leave the distance the way it is but it's good practice to make sure that you select the correct one I'm gonna use all and just to see just to show you what it's doing it's gonna cut just up to that point when I click on home you can see that it cut it all the way through the next thing I'm gonna do is draw another sketch to put a point of where I want my hole to be so start 2d sketch click on this plane use the point command and then I'm gonna use the dimension command to make sure it's where I want it that's correct and then the distance between this point and the bottom is one inch as well I'm gonna finish sketch and what's gonna happen is when you use the whole command which is right here it's automatically gonna lock in to that point now we want to make sure that all of these settings are correct. So hole is going to be a simple hole. Placement, I mean if you select that, notice how it has that center point selected. If it doesn't, you can actually select it and then select the point. For seat, it's going to be counter bore. Termination, through all. Direction, of course, it's going to be going down, it's showing correct. Now, it looks like these are grayed out, but they're not. My top dimension, which is the diameter of the top part of that hole, is one inch. The thickness of the top part of that hole is 0.125 and the diameter of the bottom part of that hole is 0.5 and as you can see I'll zoom in it shows you exactly what it's doing click OK I'm clicking on home and there you have it the hinge guide is complete but we need to save make sure and always save save is very important go to file 
save as. Make sure that you save it in your correct folder. And if you want to export this as a PDF or an image, you can do that here. Go to File Export. I'm going to export this as a PDF. We're done. If you completed this lesson, make sure and type Master Catter in the comments below. Make sure and subscribe because I'll be going through all the Autodesk Inventor book. And I'll see you guys in the next one.